live. We had a chilly start to the day. We had a low of 38 degrees in Lafayette earlier this morning, and then we only reached a high of 46 this afternoon, so it was much cooler today. And we even had some rain showers mixed in, a few little flurries earlier this morning. But now we're starting to see those rain showers move out. We still have quite a bit of cloud cover throughout much of the viewing area, but there is some partial clearing starting to move in. We will eventually turn partly cloudy after midnight tonight. And we all also have the potential for patchy frost to develop and we have a frost advisory issued for multiple counties in our viewing area, mostly the southern half and also our northwestern counties. This will come into effect around two o'clock this morning and will last until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. And that's once again that because we have the potential for frost to develop. We also have another cold night in store for us with lows in the mid 30s again. Rain chances stick around through Tuesday and then temperature are going to stay below the average high of 70 for the next several days. But right now we're still around 45 degrees in Lafayette under overcast skies. Winds from the west southwest at around 7 miles per hour with temperatures ranging in the 40s, 43 in Kokomo, 46 in Rossville, and currently 41 degrees up in Rensselaer. And overnight tonight we should drop into the lower 40s and eventually the upper 30s by the time we get to 3 o'clock in the morning. 30 8 by 4 and then 37 degrees by 5 o'clock with overnight lows falling again in the mid 30s. 35 up in Winnemac and Rochester, 37 in Logansport and an overnight low of 38 degrees in Covington. So we're expecting another chilly start tomorrow under partly to mostly cloudy skies. More clouds will build in by the afternoon, 47 degrees by noon and then a high of only 56 degrees by 5 o'clock with a slight chance for a rain shower with highs in the mid 50s around the area 54 in Remington 55 Fowler and a high of 55 degrees expected around Pine Village. Now here's a look at future cast for tomorrow. We'll start to see more clouds move in just around 7 o'clock. We'll have overcast to at least mostly cloudy skies through the lunch hour and then we have a chance for light rain showers by the afternoon and also into tomorrow evening and we have another chance for rain to move in by the time we get to Monday afternoon as well with temperatures in the 60s by Monday, a high of 62 degrees there, 66 by Tuesday. We stay in the 60s throughout the rest of the week. Our warmest day will be Thursday with a high of 69. And again, our average high is just around 70, so it'll be pretty seasonable by the time we get to the end of the work week. But tonight we're going to drop to 36 degrees again. We should become partly cloudy after midnight. We do have that chance for patchy frost to develop as well with a high of 56 degrees for your Sunday, mostly Sunday sunny skies and a chance for an isolated shower in the afternoon. Winds will be coming in from the west southwest between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Rain chances stay in our forecast through Tuesday with temperatures gradually warming up again. 66 will be our high on Tuesday. Wednesday mostly sunny skies with a high of 68 degrees with another chance for rain on Thursday a high of 69 there and then Friday and Saturday we should dry out again but temperatures will be cooler again. 66 on Friday and then eventually 58 degrees by the time we get to